Yes, welcome to the special broadcast brought to you by the Department of Justice and Constitutional Development. We call it DJ. DJ, thank you Mr. DJ for playing our song. Yes, this is in collaboration with JCIS. This program seeks to heighten our understanding in as far as access to justice is concerned in South Africa. You see, from time to time, you will hear people saying, a justice in South Africa is for the rich. If you have money, yes, you will have this so-called access to justice. This program seeks to demystify this myth. We've seen things, we've had things. This program has changed that perspective. Well, tonight we are not alone in the seven program of the 19 plan programs. We are with advocate Wendy Setole. And, and, and you see, she has a black belt in tonight's topic. The importance of the will. I know so many of us out there this is the subject to take for granted. And I don't even want to start asking people here in the studio if they have a valid will. I, I, I can do that. I, I can start asking people here. To, you see, it is so important yet overlooked by so many. People tend to, to defer the drafting of this. Well, uh, like we have said, Advocate Wendy Sitole is going to share with us the significance. Welcome, Advocate Sitole, in the program. Thank you, Good Nanex. Uh, good evening. Thank you for having me. I'm happy to be in studio today to discuss the importance of drafting a will. A will is a very important document, I have to say. As you have mentioned, people take it for granted to have a will. But tomorrow, tomorrow. That's not true. You don't know when you're going to die. That will, that piece of paper is very important. And let us not leave it to our attorneys to draft the will for us. We need to know what are the requirements of a valid will because that uh, will is a document where you yourself, while you are still alive, you draw that will, that you make it clear what are your intentions, who is supposed to inherit. By inheriting with Lennox, I mean who must get what at the end of the day. You will be having five children, they will be fighting for your estate. If allow, remember guys, it's very, very important that if you've got assets, what we call uh, inflow, Imoto, uh, bank accounts, you need to have a will. A will is a document which uh, you draft as a person alive, uh, saying what are your intentions, and you can appoint the person who's going to administer your estate after death. You don't let that intention to be on your beneficiaries or your heirs. Uh, 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 you see, you dear listeners, just there, ju just there, that should give you an indication that in fact, this is so important. And together tonight, we are going to try and paint the picture talking about the significance of the topic that we constantly overlook for some reason. Uh, and I don't know. Uh, I don't know why. Perhaps uh, the listeners are going to share with us uh, the reasons why they, 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 they always defer these important things. I know you never defer the payment of your, your child's school fees because you know if you don't pay the school fees, they're going to be expelled uh, uh, from school. You, know, you never defer the installment of your car or your home loan because you know they are going to take or repossess your car or your possessions. But we constantly defer this one. I'm sure people out there will share with us so that we try and undo that tendency because it is a tendency that that leaves behind when one dies misery it leaves behind a great deal of hatred it leaves behind disunity when you were there people were united calling you daddy mother but 
But as soon or as as soon as you leave or depart, people start fighting. Obviously, you are not happy about that arrangement. So, you tell listeners out there, you will be given an opportunity to call and engage our advocate tonight, uh, Wendy Sitole. Our toll free number is 0800 142 The number again, 0800 426 I think I'm right. 0800-142-446. That is the number you call if you want to interact with us. If we are calling from your landline, you don't have to pay a cent, Sis Wendy. How good is that? That is very good. GCIS pays for that call. And if you are using your mobile phone, we say, okay, let's take your number. We'll call you back. Indeed, we'll call you back. Wow. Because we know data is a very, very expensive commodity. Whilst we are taking the calls, we know people are technical savvy. We're saying if you want to interact with us, um, hashtag let's talk justice conversation, call that number. Or you can do this using Facebook, the Department of Justice and Constitutional Development. Or we can do Twitter. We can Twitter at DOJCD underscore ZA. Siswendi, my good advocate, let, let, let's start, tell the listeners what is it that you do in the office where you work so that they know the person that they are going to be interacting with tonight uh, has an authority over the subject matter. The police, you know, court. Tell the people what is it that you do. Good listeners, good Lennox. What I do, I'm working at the office of the chief master. It's within the uh, Department of Justice. Masters, uh, they know it as the master of the high court. The office of the chief master is uh, at national office. Is the office which our offices, the 15 master of the high court nationally report to us. I am the assistant master there, reporting directly to the uh, chief master, Mrs. Bezeden Wood. What I do is that I'm working with the complaints of the uh, master's branch. I'm heading the customer care, so I'm definitely the right person to deal with this topic tonight. Uh, I'm also dealing with the project of the master's branch. Uh, there, there you are. Uh, after that intro, certainly, uh, advocate, I'm sure our listeners, if they don't have a will tonight, they will do their first draft so that tomorrow morning they will take it somewhere for it to be a valid will. We are going to talk about all those processes in the next coming 55 minutes. Now, now, now to, 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 to just get everyone who's going to be part of this program, let, let's put our objectives there out there so that uh, when this program is over, we look back to our objectives so that we know we achieved something or we achieve what we said we'll achieve. If people can at least say they've met some or we've met some of the objectives, can you outline for us, uh, my dear advocate, what are some of the objectives for tonight's program? Uh, the objectives of this program is to educate on the importance of the drafting of the will to unpack in detail the requirements of a valid will. Next week, from the 17th until the 21 of September 2018, we have the National Wills Week with, uh, in conjunction with uh, Law Society and Legal Aid. And also to highlight uh, who is competent to draft the will and also to highlight the services offered by the Master of the High Court. There you are. There you are, dear listeners. We have just outlined the objectives of tonight's program and we're saying if by the time we say good night we have met some of those things people out there would know the significance of the will who would have done our work uh, uh, now uh, my dear advocate and to you listeners who are saying maybe it's that time that you start uh, taking your notepad and a pen. Uh, 
because we're about to start now. We are going to the second gear. Uh, uh, my dear advocate, please share with us uh, in the way that everybody would understand what is a will. I mean, for instance, if I'm the father of this household and I've called the meeting and I've told all the people who live here that when I die, this is going to be your house as the father of the house. When I die, this is going to be your car. When I die, this is going to be your chair. The pattern will be the same. Uh, 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 what is it that is difficult or different between what I've just painted and a will? What is a will? And what is it that says what I've just done is not a will? You know what I like, ne? You have always been saying a valid will. The word valid, uh, it's very, very, very important. I'm going to make it as simple as I can, not to use the legal jargon, so that everyone can understand. Because most of the time, we say all these words and people don't understand us. What I will start with, as you have said, you are the father of the house, and you say, when I die, that one must get this. You don't put it in writing. That's where the tree comes. You need to put that in writing. A will is a document which you put Lennox. When you are still alive, you draft that will. The will is a document where you say what must happen after you die. If you've got five children, who must get what? You also nominate the person that we call the executor of the estate. That person is responsible for administering your estate. If you've got creditors, that person will make sure that the creditors are paid at the end of the day because people have got this thing that when I die, there is no such a thing. When you die, they can sell your house and those lovely ones of yours, they might end up not mm. having nothing. Mm. So mm. in a will, you first say that this is your will and whom you want to benefit. If you've got two children, you can say that they can um, inherit in equal shares. If you've got a spouse, you give you your spouse. Remember, there is marriage in community of property. If you know that you are both Lennox and uh, you have a wife, you've got two children, and you are not sure that when you pass, your wife will take care of your children, then your wife will inherit in terms of marriage and community of property. Then in the will, you say that your, your estate must go to your children in equal share. It means that your wife will take her half in terms of marriage and community of property. The other half will be distributed to those two children of yours. Then they are protected in that document remember especially with males ne? Mm. Uh, you've got illegit what we call Ill illegitimate children when you come to marriage sometimes you don't disclose them sometimes you do you find that maybe so in the will you've got that right to say that uh whom you want even your neighbor can be the beneficiary in the will that is the good part. Mm, mm, mm. You, 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 you see, uh, Siswam, what we have just reflected here, <laughs> you scared me. You see, what I'm picking up from what we have just said, true love can be reflected by the people who are no more, who are dead, because they can never change. You see, if you have declared your love and this is what you want for your children and those you leave behind in the way of the document it means the love we have demonstrated to those people before and after life it means it's the true love true love because it will never change you 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 use one you use one uh, uh, phrase here that i know uh, so many people are not very, very comfortable with. And I know you, you used it because you wanted people to understand exactly what you are talking about in terms of the people from uh, uh, the children from outside wedlock. Like you are saying, illegitimate 
children. And I know so many people will be very uncomfortable. Remember, children are children. They cannot be legitimate. They cannot be illegitimate. But I know you wanted to paint a picture that you will have in marriages children who came with this woman and at times uh, they are not well received at times. But we are coming back. Uh, last week, uh, uh, the callers were saying, I must stop selling, saying, we have a caller. I must mention them by names. Uh, well received. Now we are having from Kanyamazana Upurfikile. Purfikile from Kanyamazana, you are on air. Yes, oh, Sis Figile, I'm very sorry. Sis Figile, uh, why am I doing this? Sis Figile from Kanyamazana, you are on air. Yes, advocate um, Sitole. Yes, yes. You can enjoy CC. my husband now who support him down our six work. Then at the end of the day, in family, in many nine Nayati, who put him down our six work, he called on a And the Iman put him down a six work, he really had the Yashan one of the chapel in my name, who did one like her. Figila, I just want to understand. You say you will. My husband wrote a will for 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 the And he will imagine the the man uh, I'm a no way to the Okay, mm. Mm. okay, mm. yes, yeah, I'm for it because it seems like I'm going to but I'm going to Okay, Sisuam I'm sure who advocate uh, you mm. saw a discrepancy, we will. Ushe u imali ening, kumtana ka sister wake, and washia imali enane, kumtuana wenu, and wena, you are not happy about this. Now you want to challenge the will. You want to know, ku advocate, what is it that we can do to challenge the will? Mm. Mamela umsakazo, mamela, mamela umsakazo kunyamazana, and thank you nyamazana. Eh, we must mention this. Yeah, Sinobongane eh, from Twitter. Ubongane is so much ahead of ourselves. He's asking questions that I know we're going to be dealing with, but in few hours, in in few minutes time. But ubongane uti. Eh, in terms of the value of the assets. I'm a general employee with no other assets. Can I still have a will? Like like Minangna's assets. Uh, can I draw a will? And who is eligible to draw that will or to draft that will for me? I know when you were doing your intro, you did touch on this and you invited Bonganeke from the Twitter to ask that question. So as you try and attempt to respond to Usis Fikile from Kanyamazana, you can touch on Ubongani. Okay, thank you. Sis Fikile, when you uh, have a will like that, ne? Remember after death, it will finally be master, master I accept as a valid will. So what happens is that if that will is being accepted as the valid will of the deceased, when uh, if you are not helping you instruct an attorney or if you are not working, you can also go to legal uh, aid South Africa so that they can as uh, assist you with the application to high court to challenge that will. Because even if Ungayagu master of the high court saying that I'm not happy to deceased to Ashia in Mali, it's not like the master can do anything. Those are the wishes of the deceased. That's why we say it's very important to draft the will so that your wishes can be expressed there while you you are still alive and when you are dead, the will will talk for you. It's your mouth. <laughs> so the only way is to challenge the will a high court, not a master of the high court. Remember the master of the high court, that's where the estate are being reported and the will is being accepted. So the challenging of the will 
the application go to the high court? Just there before we get to a question, Kaka Kaka Z Tangbanu ten, a question Kabongan Uguti and Dina said, Can I do this? But just there, this contestation uh, is making me uh, think about number of engagements I've been uh, involved in. For instance, can you touch on? Uh, whether it is permissible to discuss your will with your partner. Here we are, we're married, and I'm drafting a will. Okay, there are two things here. We are married, or we're partners. We're discussing about drafting a will. I tell my partner, she tells me, it is important that we draft a will. And... On another level, the same question, can we discuss the contents of our individual wills? Ke, 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 before you go back to Bongan, can we talk about that? Because I know as partners, we want to remind one another that AM4, SEC, must draw a will. We invite or we go to the bank say, let's draw the will. Are we allowed to talk about us drawing a will true or secondly are we allowed or is it permissible for us to discuss the contents of our will as you discuss the question from Bongane uh, please try because I don't want end of this program to have people pulling one another hey but a will is important Bala, what are you giving me and Anama will write, what am I giving you? It is very important. But before we do that, I don't want to waste time. And the, and the air time of one caller. There's a caller all the way from Alwan North. The name is Patko. Patko, you are on air. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ugubanga ba ina yu ili niki Utata uche wale uya soleka Mzegeno Enge na abu abandwana Before eza utiskasa iwili Ina abandwana uka nyingo skasi yake Ageske asoleke utata Ukumani kutitongi ipangi Eya ziyoba utata uniwili Umuzo wa mkana lo Ime before yu kwa sbini patko Uti iwili ina limit So that sizo upendu laka kutle Utetuti ni kabuzi ba Iwili ina limit let me co- let me consult with my offer okay. did you get the question you see uh, Badko, you, you talk as if uh, you are alive and then now you are sharing this money to people who are going to school, some that are not going to school. Remember, Bati Iwil, it's a document that talks for you when you are no more or when you are unable to, when you are dead. Now, Gas addresses, we, we want to do justice. Gas Kalelekoti Illimi to Teta in terms of the people we are going to involve in this will or the money or the assets. Illimitly, Maskaling I. And the Teta Rabanda by involve, Uta Tulavanda Rabatat, yes, Uta Tile Uno Mama. Uh-huh. And then Kaita Tile No Mama, and then Abanda Nabuwa Fagile Guriaki. Yes. We have a game of Kishu in the Lurin Lokba. Okay, okay, okay. No, no. So, Ville Lombuzoako, who advocate is going to explain to you when there's a will, how is that money is dispensed to the people who are there? In that will, Ukuti, how they use that money, uh, uh, advocate who's a stella, Ukuti, whether it's up to them how they use that money because it's their money or they are going to continue. Who's a pendulum? Okay, Ubuti, always be numbers routine, very fast. But go, Ubanga, Buddha, 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 Ubanga, Bu
benga kanga kazele ivi nabandwana okanyi umama ukubanga ba ule wila yenzi leyo ngei role in department of justice eti izani ili guzi ya mimi tivile tivile patko na kumtu asoleka une will but no one knows uh, uh, I think a bag a pendulile usiswe into part of Pindas remind eh uh, cannot remember Kone will a guambu poposha a bantu in bong and in a will Lubanus or Tola Malini, but to the pendula go advocate. Uh, advocate before we do that, let's go to Tsepo all the way from northwest. Uh, I, I, I know we are noting our question, advocate Tsepo, you are on air. Uh, Tsepo. But Okay, uh, thank you very much, Tsepo, all the way from Northwest. We're listening to a station? Life FM. Life FM. Life is life. Thank you very thank much. You. Uh, thank you. Listen to the radio, and I know we're going to respond to you. Uh, advocate, let's go back to Patko. Uh, maybe before Patko, let's go back to our Twitter question whether if i do not have assets can i draw the will and who is responsible to draw that was bongane uh, through twitter and then after bongane we had parko with those two questions and then after that that will be sepo yes okay okay i'm going to start with but bongani bongani has asked a very important question uh who is competent to draft the will a in terms of the wills act and it's not me it says a person who is 16 and above and that person must be in his or her sober mind it means that a mentally incapacitated person cannot draft a will and uh can a person draft a will if doesn't have assets remember who you will ne? when you draft a will you are saying how your assets must be divided when you die so you need to say you you don't have assets at that particular time some they will mention that my house must go to no no continue continue okay. some they will say that my house must go to ben my car must go to whoever and some they will be saying that uh my asset must be divided in equal shares to one two three so you must definitely have assets because that is what we are protecting mm. I don't know if I've answered Bongani fully. I'm, I'm, so. I'm sure you do. I'm sure you did. I'm sure you did, Advocate. Uh, now, uh, Patko had two questions. Patko, all the way from Alwa North. The first question is who il is eligible to draft a will? Yes. And the other seconds, can I draft a will if I don't have any assets? Uh, Patko. But go, but go, but go. Okay, let's let, let's go to. Oh, but uh, the uh, the limit and the ban. The limit, uh, the limit, okay. and you die, and you did not share with no one. If you have a will, what is going to happen? Okay, oh, but but go the first one, the limit. Ne? Hmm. Remember, go you will you are saying that who must get what? Let's say, for example, uh, when you die, you've got uh, three children and uh you have hundred thousand rent for example ne? and the you owe creditors ten thousand rent 
What is the balance for distribution there? It's 90,000 rands. Mm. That 90,000 rand will be shared between those three children. It means 30,000, 30,000, 30,000 rand. Because in your will, we'll be saying that must be divided in equal shares. So whether someone is going to school or not, it doesn't make any difference. Mm. Unless if you got, say, uh, a minor child in that case, then you put a claim against the estate, but not in the will, in the estate. So in the will, you'll get equal share whether you go to school or not. Mm. And about the uh, person dying and the family does not know Gucci, that person's got a will. Remember when you draft a will, you, the will must be in safekeeping. You finally win against the Umundom Tembayo or the banks, the attorneys. Let's say someone dies. We've got uh, many matters in the master's office where the banks, after death, they lodge the will with us. The only information that they have is um, that one of the deceased and maybe of the one of the next of kin. So they lodge the will with the master of the high court and say that we renounce to be the executor. By renouncing, that uh, the nominated person in the will will not take the appointment as the executor then the person lodges the will because the will the the act says that after death you have to lodge the will with the master of the high court because the only guardian of the wills after death is the master of the high court so what we do we capture the the, the that information that is if we have the id number because what we have right now is that we have the system that is uh integrated with uh department of home affairs when we capture and there is an id number then we at least can have the uh, details of the deceased mm -hmm. so if we've got the information of the next of kin we write a letter to this uh, that next of kin for him or her to furnish us with the outstanding documents so that we can appoint the executor in the estate. But if we don't have, unfortunately, we'll keep that that will for safety up until somebody comes. Mm. There you are. There, there, there you are, meaning that whether you did not share this with no one in the family, but someone, someone knows about it, someone is safe keeping it it is that person that is going to come to you and say uh, can we convene and have the meeting because i have these documents as the will the last will of your father your mother whoever so patko don't worry someone out there has that information now a uh, advocate can we go to tsepo yes tsepo had very pertinent questions as well hi abuti tsepo uh how on a labor with the how on a and the recording of the will if you allow me can i please start with this one of the recording of the will one of the requirements of the valid will is that the will must be in writing or typed it means that the the will if it's recorded we cannot accept it as a valid will of the deceased. Unfortunately, we don't have a case law that said, uh, which set the precedent that we have to accept a recorded will. So the requirements in terms of the will or wills act is that a will must be handwritten or be typed and signed at, let's say the will's got two pages. Every page must be signed by the person making the will whom we call a testator or the testatrix in each page. And it must be signed by two witnesses at the last page. And those witnesses, according to the act, it says that it must be uh, people who are 14 and above. Mm, mm, mm. And uh, it means that if it's a recording and the family, you know, feels that that is the valid will of the deceased, Unfortunately, as I'm saying, the master will not uh, accept that will as a valid will of the deceased. Then your family have got the right. It doesn't mean that we as the master says that because it doesn't um, comply with the, wills, uh, the requirements of the Wills Act, we don't accept. They can challenge that at the high court, not the master of the high court, at the high court again. Then the high court can decide whether that is considered as a valid will of the deceased and order the master to accept it. Question here with two Basadi Baba Beji customary marriage in terms of uh, of, uh, of uh, if those two they're supposed to be inheriting but let all half half in terms of marriage in community of property but the remaining part uh, then it will have to be in terms of the of the will and the other wife isn't if if she's not happy she will have to challenge it again and where 
high court always remember that if you challenge the decision made by the master of the high court you go to high court hmm. so 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 you are saying uh, obviously uh Tepo is raising something <laughs> that is so widespread you have uh, people getting married in some uh, rural areas and then they are asked by the families to go look for the jobs in the mines they come in Gauteng uh, they, 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 they get these plumpy jobs and they marry here white wedding and they don't declare that they married where they are coming from and they do the will because the wives here in Gauteng are clever they force you to do the will and for some reason, you don't include the customary wife in your will. We are saying there's a recourse for that customary wife. They can challenge that will uh, in the high court. Always, you, if you're not happy about the contents of the will, you challenge it at the high court. On that note, let's go all the way to Zepetia and Limpompo. We have Tsabedi. Uh, you are on air, Tsabedi? Hello? Hello, Sabedi? Okay. Oh, I'm on air. Yeah, over. Yes, okay. You are on air, sir. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes, advocate is here. Yes. Advocate, Rato. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then we can have a good check out of the other people. We can have a good check out of the other We can have a and then making a cover some preparation here with Morbona. Now, I'm going to go back to the Rela without Sadu Kublan Lena as Katri, but what really secretly the most very Sadu has to be said of Ben Lena or a Muslim Kono Java Fola. That's my first question, Morlena. And then, um, second question, Corona, a Gafona or a Babal and Kamurai Bana Kamuka, Gafona Bakovich or in the village of Kono Bafa. Yeah, and that is a very, very, very important yeah. questions, and we are yeah. going to uh, respond to you. Was that all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me yeah, Master Lebrar. We <laughs> Ah, uh, very important question. Let's go yeah. back to Limpompo once again. In Limpompo, Rinali Malebu. Malebu, you are on air. Hey, Tabela. Tabela, me. Uh, okay. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Loud and okay. clear, loud and clear, Malibu. You have asked one question, but you are asking on behalf of many South Africans because that is exactly what they need to know. Now, uh, listen on air, uh, Malibu. Uh, advocate is going to answer you right now. Advocate, okay. very important, many questions here. It's up to you which one you're going to start with. I'll start going to the Chabeji. Okay. And Dr. Chabeji raised the question if uh, Akaya Ayweza Wili Kusi Pirina. Mm. Dr. Chabeji, yes, you can do so. Remember, Wili Kisi Pirisa, how, how badla, mm. how badla, Okanawa, I discuss Alam Sajwa, how we've got what we call the joint will, Okaiza joint will, when Alam Sajwa, how Kapa Wabali Wili, how. What you do, Mr. Chabeji, remember Hore, how no Hore, Haling Yalan, when Alam Sajwa, how in terms of marriage in community of property, how no Hore, 
nkamu disinherita totally aka se tholi next because ke concept there na rena leng yona gore ha o le monna o re mosadi aka se tholi next o tlo ha a ke re a se tsa lena ka o fela je tsa 100000 rand wa tlhokofala ka moso then mosadi o o tlo thola 50000 50000 rand in terms of marriage in community of property then the other 50000 rand ke ga o e tlo ya go ba ne mba o ba o ba nominate le mo willing that's why we say in the will you nominate but ba o ba tlang hore ba thole ding thotsa ga o so you say hore ke ba tla gore ding thotsa ka ditholeke wa ba mentiona ka mabitso re na le problem ya hore ba thu ba etsa willing mara ha bo le le ar bana ba ka ke bo mang bana ba o ba ga o bolela hore bana ba ga o ke mang le mang le mang le mang le ba le ba go ntle ba le wa ba Kenya le ba le ba molenya lo wa ba Kenya then ha o tlokofetse le motho o o ba tlang hore admin star estate that is important how o tlohela hore ho nominate we motho a nominate ke beneficiary tsa ha o kana ko nwe it's fights so you say hore o batla ke ho be mang di beneficiary and also ke mang a tshwanetse a admin star estate how then that person that we call an executor of the estate that person is responsible hore bana ba o ba thole dintho tse o ka mgo o di ba tleng mo willing the second question uh can i share the contents of the will that is up to you that the chabe di hore o batla go share the contents of the will or not will wa etsa le go di bank go di attending ba khona go ikhipa for safe keeping how to go fetse ba e lodge le master of the high high court so if we try discuss le bana ba hene maybe it can be hore how to go fetse at least they must know hore ho na di will then they can approach that attorney or bank or muruti because o kana wa etsa will when what the draft ela wa e tshwarisa muruti ka pa whoever o mo trust ang hore how to go fetse o tlo loja will third question o buile ka bana ba ba 5 if una le bana ba ba 5 e o batla gore ba how can they share wena una remember really ho buella and wetsa whatever we batla mo willing you say hore o batla wendi a thole 5 randa o le a thole 10 randa ha ona le favorite ha witse hore ha ona le bana ba ba 5 say to aba utri then three ba right you can say hore ba le o nyaka ba kere di 5 rand 5 rand ba ba ngba kere 1000 1000 it's allowed ke di wish it's a how as you wish it's a master of the high court so you can say whatever and in the will you can make a provision hore ha o tlo if motho wa inherit like nna ke ngwana wa ha o ke le ngwana wa ngwanyana if ke inherit le part ya property ya how then he ke nyala that part is ka for my part of marriage in community of property work or marriage work Mm, mm, I think mm. I've answered you. Yes, I've, you did. Yeah. Now let's go to Malebo. Yes. Usma Malebo, we say hore what documents must sh- uh, be lodged when uh, they claim the will. Yes, yes. I, we don't claim the will, we claim the assets. How much we actually we lodge the documents with the master of the high court together with that will. The will must be the original not the copy of the will. So you the uh, specific uh, documents that you lodge with the master of the high court and those documents detail more our justice website is www.justice.gov.za you go to master of the high court then you click forms deceased estate you will see all, the, all those forms or you go to the nearest magistrate court but to hofa di forma ka pa master of the high court in that province. Question number two, what will happen if usna will? How usna will today usma le bua believe you me uh estate yeah, how it lawyer what we call in terms of in law of interstate succession eo e bereka yana ha e o le ausmane bo if u kile wa nyana o nyetswe kana ko o tlhokofala then we check for a balance of distribution ke bokae he e he e ka mona o e ya ko surviving spouse fela he setse e ya loko baneng ha o sna bana le monna e tlo ya ko batsa ding ba how after that we will relevela um, brothers and sisters ho ya ka family tree <laughs> there you are Malebu I'm sure after this you will know exactly what to do all the way to Fukani Ekala Eastern Cape sipete untate usi phuqolo and after sipuqolo siya kukhalmudise all the way representing uh, North Coast Radio Richards Bay but uh, Fukani first sipuqolo ya on air Mandi bonise ko tam di kana boza ndi bo sokala a pe vukane zwa sa uchila pe kandi tsono boza apha ku ndwe ndwe ono unani ndoko kubana ngaba ifu yenda sweleka 
dinga pansanga mtu msa um, mbimu nzanga wili hizi ndo za mziwe zitini wala nyo manditi handi na mdana dia dinga panisikengu kuna one family member ziwe zitini hizi ndo za mafta ndisore kine secondly kubande kenga ndoni o kubana ngaba iwili ibe ikona kuba tina manda banti ndo ayo ndo si kandisle ndo bana ngaba si pale iwili ndo kuba kandi sole kweyo inde zitile zezpeke kubani kwa dufuna ukukakele uh, uh, bakutenu kubani kile inde kubwa he will my day in corner haka ni my day in zero yo datus pukolo ee eh, inga atisi nga kuinvite next week to come and do this program ubuza very very important question ezi zo nga itabandaba ninzi ok u advocate uzo kresponda ee eh, masia kunta tekali ndate mudisi ndate mudisi Yes, good evening, uh, Dr. Lennox, and good evening to your guest, uh, Colonel Lapana Epitoli. Uh, my name is Carmo Dice, I'm listening to North Coast Radio. Uh, my, if I, my question is, is uh, I've got two questions. Uh, the one, oh, Mama, may already she's starting to probably get into it, but I'll get, I'll get to the first one. If there's a situation whereby... Uh, a a, 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 a the, the person the the, the the person that writes the will has got children uh, and while that person was still alive decided that they're going to put all their assets or the inheritance of the children into a will but then excludes the children from that will because if I donate it to a church uh, 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 level what recourse uh, do the children have in relation to whether it's the law of inheritance and so forth versus the will um, and then the second one is that if 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 we're married in community of property right and uh, is it is it proper for either the husband or the wife to put together a will uh, uh, because of my, my, my understanding of some of the clauses in the marriage act are that if someone is putting up contracts and stuff like that and you're married in community or property, you're meant to consult the other person. So I just wanted clarity on that. Is, can it be done that uh, couples that are married in community or property uh, find themselves having separate wills? Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank Dr. You. Uh, very, very, uh, you are asking powerful questions, you listeners today. Uh, obviously, you've prepared. Uh, now, let's try and, and, and go to Fukani, Kala, and try and see what we have for, for, for him, uh, Advocate. He had two powerful questions. Uh, the first one, remember, uh, I die without one. What is going to happen to my money and assets? Why? By the way, is it even important for us to have will? Those were the questions. If you die without uh, having children, yes, and uh, you don't have a will, what I said to the other listener from Limpopo, Osmalebo, is that your estate will develop in terms of law of interstate succession. What it means that is that you don't have a will. It's either the estate devolves in terms of the wills act or in terms of law of interstate succession. Lapo, what we check, we check the family tree. If our Nabantuana, you, you were not married, the next of uh, line to inherit is your parents. If your parents are deceased, then it will be your brothers and sisters. If you don't have the brothers and sisters, we exhaust the family tree up until there is somebody to inherit. They might end up inheriting. It's not like the estate will be forfeited, uh, forfeited to the state. state okay. And the second will, yes, it's very, very important to have a will. As I've said, many families, they fight. Uh, there was a case where U Mama Zala said that she doesn't know Uma Koti. This couple were married in terms of marriage in uh, the customary law. And uh, the, when they came to the office, U Mama Zala, because there is Chin Chin Imali, Mama Zala said, I don't know this person because there is no, there was no will. You, if there was a will, it was going to be very easy, but luckily there was a proof of marriage. So if you've got a will, that will will say, Mina, I want this one to inherit. I want this one to administer my estate. Remember that time. It's not like your children will say, Mina, I don't want my mother to administer estate, or whoever. 
It's you saying that while you're still alive. You say what are your mm. wishes. We beggar a pepe. So it's very important. Next week we are having our National Wills Week. So they will be teaching people about wills nationally. So we've got 15 masters of this countrywide. We'll be having sessions, community sessions, every province. Law Society will be there. Legal aid, they will be drafting wills. The master of the high court will be teaching the impo about the importance of drafting the wills and the law society and legal aid they will be drafting the wills not the officials from the master of the high court because we are the ones who are accepting the wills we cannot play as a player and also as a referee at the same time so take that chance people go to the sessions and uh, make the wills for free second question uh, mr mujise she, he did say you've got uh, children and you don't you in the will you bequeath your property to the church or to whoever if you've got children those children are adults remember it's not like you can just go and challenge the validity of the will if that those are the wishes of the deceased the will was signed by the deceased you can say the will is fraudulent you can you challenge the the, the fraudulent part but if did this is left five adult children who are major they're not mentally incapable then uh you challenge you cannot just challenge they will go say i challenge they will that is those are the wishes of the deceased you go but you might not succeed if they are minor children yes there is a recourse you put a claim against the estate for those minor children they become what we call the creditors and secondly you said marriage in community of property can the parties uh, make separate wills yes it is the, their decision and they can make what we call a joint will where it says uh if what will happen if the first dying or the second dying that is possible. There you are, Ndate Kal. Remember, Ndate Kal, uh, the contract is between two of you. And most of the time, it's operational when <laughs> or as long as you are alive. Yes. The minute one of you is dead, it means one part is missing. The other half, someone has to do something about that. That's why it is important. All the way to Eldos, uh, we have Sharon. Listening to elders, uh, community radio. You're on air, uh, Sharon. Hi, my name is Sharon. How are you? Very fine, thank you for asking. And how are you? I can't complain. I have um, two questions actually with regards to wills and and um, executives of a state. Okay, okay. Okay, do you need me to answer those questions now? Yes, please, please, go ahead. Okay, um, with regards to what is a living will, that is the one question that I need to ask, mm. all right? And then in an instance where a um, someone has been appointed as an executor or someone has self-appointed themselves as an executor, what is the... What is the criteria to, to appeal the self-appointment? Okay, okay. Uh, th those were the only questions. Those are the two questions that I have here. Thank you very much, Sharon. Uh, straight, uh, let's go to that. Uh, okay. uh, advocate. Thank you Wonderful. for asking those Thank questions. You. Thank you. I'll start with this one of the executor. Mm. If I understand uh, correctly, she's saying, how can one appeal for the... Challenge self-appointed. For instance, she feels some people appoint themselves. Fortunately, mm. she's still on air. She, yes, she, I am. Yeah. Can, can you... Can you I, I, I think I heard you, but I don't want to represent you. Please, let's clarify the second question. Okay, well, the first question was, with regards, I need an explanation with regards to a living will. Good, that one right? is clear, um, yes. Or, or just, just, just a definition Good. Of, of how does that come into play when a person eventually does pass on. Good. And then also, when there is a self-appointed executor, what what can be done to to um, to almost have that person um, removed from that position if they are not um, fulfilling the wishes of the the deceased? Maybe maybe a question before you leave us. How do you know in the first instance that the person is self appointed? I'm so sure maybe you are talking from experience. Let, let before I am speaking from experience. Okay. Yes. Let, let, okay. Okay, so you are saying there are instances, so you know of an instance where someone uh, 
Uh, the only problem is I'm I'm hearing <laughs> I'm hearing myself. <laughs> yeah, because your radio is on. It will yeah. help if you just take the volume down. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Let me let me let me let me discuss here with, with our advocate. Advocate. Did you get the question, the yes. second question? Yes. And uh, are we ready to respond? Yes. Okay. Sharon, listen to the yeah. radio. Okay. Okay, lovely. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. She did ask uh, a question about the executor who appointed himself. Remember in the will, ne? it says that uh, who is competent to, to make a will, who is competent to act as a witness to a will. In the, in a will, a will can be made by a person who's 16 and above and who is mentally uh, capable or at, in their sober minds. So the person who's making a will will nominate uh, an executor in the will and the master will appoint the executor. So if you are saying that the person nominated themselves, remember the will must be signed by the person making a will. If the person is is uh, not capable of signing the will, the, w the will pen can be signed by the person whom is requested by the person making a will. By the time that person signs the will, the commissioner of oath must be present at the uh, when they are signing that will. Each page will be signed and the commissioner of oath will sign also each page of the will certifying the identity of the person who's signing the will. It means that the contents of the will, there will be commissioner of oath and two witnesses. So I'm not sure if uh, the person can nominate themselves unless that will is fraudulent. Good. That is not the signature of the deceased Good. or the person whom uh, alleged to be to make that will. Good. And if you are making a living will, obviously you make a will while you are still alive and it will be uh, a valid will when you passed away. A will you make it when you are still alive, it's not valid while you are still alive because when a will is valid, it must comply with the wills act and up until the master put that accepted stamp saying I've accepted that this will is in compliance with the wills requirements of the wills act, then that will is not valid. Mm -hmm. Your parting note, I'm looking at a time. I know when you are having fun, time flies. Your parting note, message to the listeners, and anything you think it's very, very important you want to say, the necessary or important numbers you want to leave. What is it that you want to say right now? What I want to say to the listeners is that it's very important to make wills. And please take note of our National Wills Week next week from the 17th until the 21st of September 2018. Master of the High Courts will be uh, driving sessions where we will be talking about wills, the importance of drafting the wills. There will be attorneys in those sessions. If there are not attorneys, there is a list of attorneys where you can go to. Legal Aid will be on board. Will they, those guys will be drafting wills for free for free please come to the master's offices uh if you are in kz and we've got our peter marisbeck office we've got our Devon office we've got our office in pretoria corner tabosuhume that is old and recent schoolman please do come and we'll be somewhere in mamilogy also we'll be in Deviton again on the 17th with the deputy minister so please do come you can also call me on 012 406 uh, 4805 if you've got any questions about the wills about the administration of the uh, of the estate I can be able to assist but I do not draft wills the master of the high court do not draft wills it's only those institutions the banks your bank can also draft a will for you and they can keep that will for you it's safe there on that note, yes indeed we've come to the end of our special broadcast brought to you by DOC no no why am I giving these guys uh, this, this, this Jesus? Uh, no, no. Department of Justice and Constitutional Development. Yes. Department of Constitutional Development and GCIS. Very, very important topics. You know what? Tilting, zooming and panning our cameras for our YouTube tonight is Ndate Levi and flying our plane tonight is Ndate Msutu minding those buttons to make sure that we take and get your calls this is our advocate to Mr. Tolle and I'm yours Lenos class saying we love this department this department is doing what they are getting the money to do power to the people